Welcome to Charts by Tradeway. We want to talk about how to set up your trading accounts in the platform. And in doing this, what we want to do is we're going to break this into a couple areas. One, I want to talk about creating a virtual account. Um, and this is practice money. It's uh, you can it trades just like a real account, but there's no risk to it. Um, and of course, no real profits either. So uh, if it's a designed for a learning experience, I'll show you how to set that up, how to enter a trade there. And then I also want to talk about adding a real account and what that is like as well. So with that, let's talk about creating the virtual account. So in creating a virtual account, when you first come into the platform, let me go back to the main page when you first come in that you'll be on. All right. So this is the what it'll look like when you first launch the platform. You will notice down in the bottom left hand corner, it says account. Um, the reason it says account is because you don't have one in there yet. So if I click on this, what will come up is the ability to add an account to this. And if I click on my little, you know, brokerage drop down here, you'll see several different uh, ones that you can connect to, right? So you'll notice there's a couple of different virtual accounts in the platform as well. So I'm just going to happen to choose one. I'm going to choose uh, Choice Trade Virtual. Now you notice as soon as I do that, the login stuff goes away because we create it and manage the whole thing for you should be for you right within the platform. All you have to do is accept the terms and conditions. And then when you do that, you click continue. Now it'll come up and ask you if you want to name this, you know, what you want to call this. And by default, it says my choice trade virtual. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it as that. Also, there's a place for you to select a color associated with the account. Now, this is completely up to you on whether you do that or not. But the benefit to this is that when you look at different places within the platform where you have multiple accounts going on, you'll be able to see what trade, you know, what account the trade was in, you know, very quickly. So it just makes it a little bit easier. So I kind of recommend uh, doing that. So then once you've selected that, you just hit the add the account. And what you will notice is that it will then immediately come up with that my choice trade virtual account. And you'll see here that you have $100,000 to start to trade with. Um, that will give you $200,000 on margin uh, or $400,000 on day trading, all right there. Now, one thing you will notice here is that it says auto journal this account. I highly recommend leaving the auto journal this account on. The trade journal is very dependent on being able to track what you do through the trades and if you turn that off and you, let's say you uh, uh, don't put an entry into the journal, but you do an exit and all that, it's a little messy. I highly recommend leaving that on uh, for you. So just uh, that's what that's about, right? So I've, I've got my virtual account set up. So now I can go over here and let's just pick something real quick. Uh, let's go with Apple. So I'm in Apple. I can see here, you know, I can go look at the chart. I can go look at all of my, do my research, however I want to set this up. And if I decide I want to buy it, all I have to do is hit that buy button. It will immediately fill out a ticket. You see it has the uh, my choice trade virtual account selected. If you had multiple, you could change that if you want to. Um, comes up with the stock position because that's what we're doing today. We'll talk about options in a different one. I'm ready to go with this trade. So, so 100 shares or this much, I can go change my limit order however I want to there uh, and then be able to click the review button. Shows you what you're about to submit and uh, confirming the account and exactly what that is. I hit that submit button and now that trade has been placed. And as I hit continue now, you'll see it immediately takes me over to the uh, order status screen and it's showing me, cause obviously this is after market hours. So it's showing pending, it'll be a live order in the morning. So that is it. It's very simple to place trades. There's a lot of places throughout the platform that you can do that. Uh, we, you know, if you're on, let's say a watch list page, um, every time you, when you're, uh, let's, let's go to the main one here real quick. Um, if I, uh, go to this, any one of these I hover on, you can see a little buy sell signal. Here's Microsoft. I want to click that. Bam, it's going to load that up, ready to go for me to be able to, um, to enter that as well. All right. So uh, that's a little bit about the uh, creating the virtual account. And then also not only creating the virtual account, 
being able to enter a trade into uh, that account. Now, one other part of this, I just want to make mention of real quick is that you can add your real accounts in here as well. So if I want to add another account, by the way, you can have up to four virtual accounts in the platform too. So, um, you know, just to let you know, there is that flexibility in this for you. Um, but if I want to add another account, whether it's a virtual or real, you'll notice that I now don't have the account thing because I have an account selected. But what I do have is a little plus sign down here. I click that plus sign and it'll come up with that list again. And in this particular case, let me go with E-Trade. So what I'm going to do is select E-Trade. Yes, I've read the terms and conditions. And then when I click the next, what it's going to do is take me out to log into E-Trade. Um, this is what's called OAuth, where it's taking out to do that. Uh, it's a more secure way to do it because it's actually logging in on E-Trade and then E-Trade sends back a token to the platform to make sure that you can get in. So I'm just going to log in there. It'll say that it's there. And then uh, now it comes up, it says the, it's an individual brokerage. Well, I want to have it be my, uh, uh, my E-Trade uh, account. And you'll notice that I did yellow here. I did yellow for virtual. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to do a green for a real account. I simply just said add that account. And now you'll see my balances come in. All that information is there for me, ready to go. Um, and I have now once that's been added, not only do I see my, my uh, balances, but I can see my everything that I've got going on on there. I don't have any open positions right now or open orders right now, but I do have a couple positions on here. Um, I can also see my history with the account uh, if I want to. I don't, again, I just added here, so I'm not gonna have as much on this one, but that's it. It's a simple way to do that. And then all you have to do to change, you know, between accounts, if I wanna trade this, you can see down here, it says E-Trade account. If I wanna shift back to my virtual, I just go back and click on that. Bam, I'm in my virtual. And by the way, now that I shifted over to virtual, it didn't get rid of E-Trade, it didn't log me out. I can go right back and choose my E-Trade account again. And then whichever one, you have selected when you do your next trade that's what it's going to be in which is also why it's real important when we do this that if i go to do a trade um and i get ready to do that trade and i hit that review button that you make sure that you're in the account that you want to be in right this is my uh you know the brokerage accounts e-trade called the e-trade account right so uh so in this case i'm not going to actually do that trade um, but i just wanted to show you that part all right, so um, not only can you uh, very easily uh, be able to do the virtual accounts, it's super easy to add your real account as well. And when you have that real account in there, uh, the, the whole access of that's available. In fact, I mentioned the trade journal. Uh, again, highly recommend having the journal on for this. You can pick up the last two months of activity automatically if you want to from uh, when you log in and you do your order status, it'll actually pull the last two months of activity and um, uh, put it in the journal for you. So a real easy way uh, to make that happen. Again, super easy way to add your virtual account uh, and also be able to add your real accounts. Now, one comment about the real account, real accounts do have to be logged into in each session. Um, so the reason for that is, you know, let's say, uh, you know, husband and wife sharing uh, the platform, whatever, and they, you, it's not that you want to keep somebody, oh, I don't want them to see my account. Maybe it's not even that issue. It's just that you want to make sure you're trading in the right one. So uh, it gives you the ability to, uh, to handle that by logging in or not logging into one of those particular accounts. Uh, so just to let you know, the, for security purposes, and that you do have to log into the brokerage accounts when you go into the, the platform. All right. So that's a little bit about adding accounts to charts by Tradeway. <laughs>